We're heading over to Los Nevados National Park, hoping to catch a glimpse of Volcan Ruiz up close. It's gonna be a long drive though. Whoa, the fan turned on, so we're gonna let some beat out for a second. This is a super high, high altitude place that we're going, 13,000 feet. So we're gonna have to do this quite a few times because it's gonna be quite the process to get up but we want to see this national park we want to see the volcanoes and the mountains Woo, we turned off for making our way again yay our first look at some friendly honest we haven't seen them in so long We went to the end of the road as far as we can drive up here to the National Park entrance and we're going to do it another day. Actually they close at 2 p.m. is the last you can enter but the earliest is 8 a.m. Where we're going to spend the night we should be able to see it too. Hopefully we'll get a majestic beautiful mountain view. It's kind of weird you actually take your own car but you need a guide. So the guide can either go in yours or he can go ahead of you. So I think if we got here at 8 a.m. then we can't take a hike or anything. And we stocked up food, water, gas, everything. We even have cell reception up here. So I think we're gonna try and uh, stay put up here in the beautiful, beautiful bottom. I think we'll have plenty to do up here. It's gonna be epic. When we come up to good camps like this, we gotta scout our spot out. What are you thinking, Danny? This, I think, is the main event. For sure. I think that's gonna be the mountain right there. So we wanna maximize our views. Right here it's pretty good, but it's not hidden, you know? Well, I'm fairly happy with this spot for the night. Over here, through the clouds, there should be an epic mountain waiting to be seen. 13,000 feet! <laughs> Think about leveling the van for once. I don't know if anyone will miss this wood, but look, there's a frog under it. Gummy! You wanna go outside? Good oh boy! Ooh, look at this setup. Emily's cutting up some food. All the doors open. Up here in nature. Oh, love it! And it's free too! <laughs> Gummy, some brief dive, both outside. Get the guitar out to get the chairs out, so might as well play. I'll bring over the snack board. Oh, so we made a nice snack board up at 13,000 feet here. Hi, Ansem. Are you ready for some cuddles? Some high alpine cuddles. out of these free oranges. It's been really hard to find spots just in the middle of nowhere here in Colombia. We're really happy right now. You can see the view out here has gotten very cloudy all of a sudden, but I'm gonna try the middle of the night, early morning, see if we can see that big old snow-capped volcano. Yeah, let's get up early. We're gonna watch a nice TV show together on our projector. Yeah, we carry this thing around. It hides pretty easy down it here. Hides, hides. But we always have this projector mount here, which I had to convince Emily a lot to install this. You're very lovely. We got it, yours.
how great waking up out here with this view. It's clear today, like exceptionally clear. Cloud's been just rolling by, no problem. It was nice and cold last night. Ooh, love it up here. Whoa, change of plans. Look at these clouds can roll in fast up here. 13,000. So we're gonna take these animals for a little walk. So tomorrow we're probably gonna do that. But yeah, we're gonna check out the side road here a little ways. There's some epic fried lejones over here. Just feels so good waking up in this beautiful wild campsite. I feel like we're back in the US, like going for a walk off leash with our, with our pets and, oh, actually the thing is locked. <laughs> Well, it looks like this little hike that we did over here goes over to a farm, we think. We decided we're going to hang out here for the day and enjoy our wild campsite. We're gonna work, we're gonna go in and out, take the pets for some walks, and just enjoy our time at our beautiful, free wild campsite that we have here in Colombia that we're super excited about. It feels good to be stocked up, to be in a free spot, and have plenty of things that we're gonna be able to do in the next couple days. I feel so lucky to be able to work up here. Just working on my apps. Emily's <laughs> working on the videos. And we're just super comfy here with the door just open, enjoying the view. We got up here, Graham in his little hiding spot. Hey, buddy. <laughs> oh, sombrita. Well, we're off to a good start this morning. Decently clear. It's so close. Heading up 
So we're some of the first people up here. We gotta wait for the guides to get here. They're supposed to be here at 8 and it's 7.55, so no big deal. And now we're up here at 4,100 meters above sea level. So we're talking 13,500 feet-ish. What do you think, Emily? They said we gotta wait for the guides. So we're just hoping it doesn't get cloudy. Man, so last minute they spotted the cat and they said we can't drive up. <laughs> we were able to go in their transport at least, which was a fine compromise to me for another five bucks. And oh yeah, that's five bucks. But it is getting cloudy after the introductory talk was like super long. <laughs> but you know, it's it's beautiful up here. At least we can come and we'll see what happens up ahead. <laughs> we were surprised to see that there used to be a ski resort up here. We're not sure when the skiing ended, but in 1985 the glaciers were completely melted by a volcanic eruption. Here's the map that of the area that's threatened by the volcano. And this was in 85. Mostly it comes down these rivers as a pyroclastic flow. And here 25,000 people died. Next, we're gonna go check out this area with the van. So we'll show you guys what this volcano can do. And over here, 3,000 people died. So 28,000 people died in 1985 due to this volcano. Clouds, give us a break. <laughs> now it's raining a little bit. <laughs> but maybe the mountain will have snow on it tomorrow morning if it's raining here. <laughs> We're at 4,500 meters, which I'd have to do the math, but we must be at 14,000 uh, or more feet here. Mm -hmm. And even with these clouds, it is an epic landscape being up here. Yeah, it looks like we're on the moon. Danny's basically on the moon right now. We thought we were going up to a different part of Colombia, but we ended up in a different planet. We can't see the car that we came from. If we can't see anything except for this canyon that's down here. Open and waiting. We're gonna have to come back because yesterday morning was like not a cloud and I decided to sleep. Man, I learned my lesson. <laughs> but this is still really good. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's not a busy season. But we can't really go everywhere on busy season. <laughs> I'm glad they didn't let us drive because the road is pretty <laughs> I know. Pots and pans would be everywhere. Pots and pans. And also there was a sandy bit that I don't think we would have made it up. It's actually hailing a little bit. Wow, you can just see the crater there oh my gosh that's the edge of the crater we've been seeing from the van and then over here will be the main crater hopefully if these clouds keep going away well at least it stopped raining and it's it is starting to clear up this is awesome much better than just a moment ago so maybe we'll have to be happy with this view here but i'm pretty stoked about it and you can see there too the road that goes up farther kind of next to that rock to the left of it she said 16 switchbacks to get up to the next level. And you used to be able to drive up there to go skiing. Well, at least we can see this canyon like way better now. Oh my gosh. And so there's a bridge over it up here that at any moment could get washed out. So that's why you're not allowed to drive farther. 
But yeah, we're getting to see a bit more. We couldn't see over there when we got here. And still no main crater up there. Oh, that might be some snow, huh? Good eye, babe. Oh, there oh it gosh. is. Now we're seeing the main crater up there. The sun came out and cleared off some of these clouds. It's such a good view. Look and at that. I'm super stoked. She told us that we have to leave. <laughs> yeah, the guide is, is trying to get us to leave right now. Wow, there's definitely some snow way up there at the crater. Oh, feels good to be back home. Cooking up here at 14,000 feet. Gotta make some potato tacos. We're hoping we might see the top of this mountain from here. Bust out. You come under me. It was fun going way up there. I'm still curious if that is a main <laughs> Somebody jump in! Yes, we finally got to see the top. There is snow and steam. Wow. It's just behind a hill from where we've been sleeping. And Sombrita's getting some outside time. I'm kind of getting outside time. Wow, so we're gonna have to leave it with that view there. God, pretty epic to finally see the mountain. But there's some other things we want to explore up here at this altitude. Thank you guys so much for joining us. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. See you next time.